Hello guys, my name is Alexander Vinkarov. I'm a professional clarinet and saxophone player and teacher as well, with experience more than 30 years. And I would like to talk to you, I would like to share something with you today regarding the very beginning of playing clarinet. What the very important and very crucial thing is how much of mouthpiece student has inside of the mouth. If you already know, it takes so much time to establish and accomplish this thing. I found a way which can eliminate your hustle and make your life easier, make the life of student less complicated and more successful. It's a simple thing. It's a 3M double-sided cushion tape. And I will show you right now how you can avoid and eliminate all your hustles. Okay guys, so what we have, we have a tape, we have mouthpiece, we have a ruler, scissors and razor blade. Now let's cut the small piece of the tape. and approximately put in this position approximately let's check as i told you it should be 11 12 millimeters right now we have 11 i would go a little bit more than 11 And let's see now, that's a little bit too much. So you have to find the right amount. No. Nope. Usually I'm doing pretty fast. No. Nope. Even a little bit more. So don't rush it, you have to be precise. Now, 11 and a half, exactly, that's what I need. Okay, just press this hard, just make sure the surface of the mouthpiece is clean, otherwise it's not gonna hold. And then when you see these parts, I would love to trim it carefully, do not trim the mouthpiece. That's it. So that's how it's going to look like. So, now we have a tape on a mouthpiece on the right position. And I just would like to remind you that mouthpiece, the surface of the top, before you put the tape, must be cleaned. Very clean. Otherwise, the tape is not going to hold. So, what I did right now, I just put the tape. Just make sure you're not going to remove the top part because this is a double side tape. Now, just explain to the student to slide the teeth up to the tape and hold it. And that's it. You're all set. It's done. Because right now it's a barrier. Barrier which holds, doesn't let the teeth slide any further. That's it. And it's holding. So remember, 11, 12 millimeters from the tip to the tape for the clarinet and 14, 15 for the saxophone, alto. If you gonna ask me about the tenor, I can tell you about the tenor, but just ask me a question and I will tell you exactly how much should be for the tenor saxophone. Another thing I would like to talk to you today, it's thumb rest. 
A lot of students also do not understand this is very, very crucial as well. So what happened? When they put the thumb far in, they have to adjust their fingers to be able to cover the holes. So if you put far in, the other fingers go with it, right? So that means they have to bend it like that and it's going to be impossible to do some technical stuff for them. So make sure they're not holding their thumb that far. It should be, I would say, a little bit more than on a nail. I would put this way because especially the student is very young, I have right now nine years old, who is very tiny boy and it's very hard for him since he puts so much pressure on his thumb he has a constant pain so in this case i will tell him just to put the client when they practice on something to get a support like a pillow or something like that for for a small period of time so the thumb can rest but do not let them move the thumb all the way in because it's absolutely crucial and it's very important for the technical ability of the student. Same thing I'm going to show you a video of my student I have also which is wrong but I just want to show the way not supposed to hold the clarinet and another thing I'm going to show about the flute as well. So I saw the student not long time ago holding the flute very similar way. Okay, that's about it for today, guys. I'll see you soon. Good and good. Good and good.